Alrighty, I am back. Uh, once again, my name is White Hat, <clears throat> and I'm gonna be going over Gargoyles Quest 2. Uh, I am playing, uh, gonna be going through the Japanese version, which is several minutes faster than the US version due to text. There's a lot of text in this game, and the Japanese characters uh, save a lot of time over English text. <clears throat> So, yeah, let's just get it going. Just start the game. There's no way to make the text go faster, so you just mash uh, A through the... <coughs> through this. Uh, there's a little Astaroth, I think. Uh, I actually hold down while I'm mashing A, so that I don't accidentally continue talking to him. If you just mash A, like, you'll just keep talking to him in a loop. If you just mash A and hold down, you'll walk away immediately. That's what I like to do. So, these, there's these top-down sections. This is just, it's an overworld. There's no... People like to think it's like an RPG, but no. It's just, it's literally just an overworld. <clears throat> and we're into our first stage. This is where we get used to the controls. So, we have this, this little short jump. Uh, we get more powerful and jump higher later. Uh, if you jump in the air... Let go of A and hold A, you can float. If you jump and tap A and let go, you can float. Uh, and you can shoot. So those are the basic controls. Uh, we can wall climb, you grab onto something. Float into the wall climb. So this is where you sort of get used to the mechanics. And our goal is to get this uh, base or whatever it is up here. It's important to, to know, to get uh, the most distance out of your hovers, you want to wait until later, until you uh, start to hover. It seems like it might be common sense, but it can be a little tricky. <clears throat> so that is the, uh, that's like the tutorial level. Really easy. So they're telling us that the ghoul realm is under attack and like everyone has disappeared. So that is what we're on our quest to uh, save everyone. So this is kind of like the first real stage. Uh, these goal, these two goals right here will uh, pop up like randomly. Uh, if they do happen to pop up, you want to kill them because they cause lag. So the the controls for this game take a bit to get used to, but once you get the hang of them, uh, the game feels really, really fluid. Just getting used to climbing on and just going uh, throughout the stages. I sort of just let this guy go. <clears throat> so this guy, he spawned super late there, so I will just kill him when, he, when I get over him. We're just killing these guys as we go. Eyeball birds. <clears throat> oh, I wait for this guy also. So the, the, kind of the route that I'm going to go through is like, a more of a marathon safe route. Uh, if you want to see what like the the, the really risky strats are, uh, you can watch like my PB. <clears throat> but so like I would take a death at the end of this stage uh, in the boss room, but I would advise not doing that because we want to we want to keep our for safety we want to keep our lives. So the all right the the fast strat for this part right here. Uh, is that we hover over here, we damage boost up, and then in our iframes we climb up, and then we get up here. Uh, I'm not going to recommend that you do that. That That is the fast strat. Uh, I'm probably going to recommend you go down here and grab this extra health. So that is an extra uh, health, and that is going to make certain bosses uh, much easier. It's going to let you allow you to take one extra hit on two bosses in particular, so we just have to climb up. We have to climb up this way instead now. It's not a big deal. These guys react the same every way, or every time, so once you figure out how they move, it's pretty pretty much the same. We just drop all the way down, hover over, and we're already at the first boss. So this is Nagus. He doesn't move until we shoot him. You can do a lot of different things. This, the triple shot is annoying. 
but if you kind of keep your distance and just keep keep uh, hitting him, he goes down pretty quick. So this is the this is the attack you want. He will not shoot another attack until that ball goes off screen. So you can get the most amount of hits in if he does that attack. And you see how much faster he died there. <laughs> So that is the, uh, yeah, that's the first boss. He's pretty easy. Like I said, in the, like if you were going for like the record or something, for a really good time, you would actually take a death uh, at the start of this boss fight in order to, we're going to be doing a, a couple of game over warps later, but it's risky to do that because if you game over on accident before that, you lose a lot of time. So we beat that boss and then we come up and we talk to uh, the king again. <clears throat> and we, like I said, mashing A, you don't really have to mash that hard. Just tapping A and holding down to go away as soon as possible. And then we're going to leave this town down to the left. <clears throat> this is how we get out. Now we're into uh, the big overworld. Yeah, one of the harder things is just remembering where to go on this overworld. We have a little mini, kind of a mini boss fight here. Small things. You have to kill three of these ghouls. There's one on this side and two on this side. Do you want to spawn things? It does not matter that we're taking damage. Your health is uh, back to full for every new, uh, every new section. just a pass-through stage. There's no boss or anything. This is just to get across the bridge up here. So now we, you see we can jump, uh, we can jump a bit higher now, and I think we can float for a little, maybe, I don't think we can float any longer now, but we can jump higher. So what I like to do is, I just like to get hit right here, and then float across. It's super consistent, that's, that's the spider web boost. That's just what I like to do to get through that part. Alright, and we're gonna come into this town. And we're gonna come up to this uh, door right here. So this is a, a save point, kind of. So talking to this guy, you just mash A through talking to him. Uh, that that triggers a checkpoint, so if we game over, we'll, we're gonna get taken back to this guy. <clears throat> so we're gonna leave, that's all we need to do in that town. We're grabbing that checkpoint and then we're out. We're just going up along here, up and around. We need to get up to this bridge here. Then we talk to this zombie guy, and we just we just mash in. We want to say yes to everything he uh, to everything he tells us. And then we're on to. I think this is one of the stages I think people have like a lot of trouble with. The the platform bridge section. The the main part about this is knowing when to take an intentional hit from one of the projectiles. Oh. Don't do that. <laughs> That's, that is not what you want to do. So I kind of use the mountains, like once we get to that mountain I go. Once we get to that mountain I go. I kind of use the mountains in the background. But there is a bit of uh, randomness with when some of the guys shoot. So if you're, if there's a bullet coming at you, and you're about to be landing like on a platform, you want to quickly turn around so that the bullet knocks you backwards onto the platform. Uh, it takes a bit of uh, just experience with that, doing that screen over and over to know when you have to do that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, the, you saw the lava is uh, insta-kill. Uh, so now we're onto like the first, I usually consider this like the first real stage. <clears throat> so here, uh, so you see there's a, a couple of blue flowers in the background right here. So that second blue flower, that is where this platform turns around. That's uh, 
an important visual cue to know, because you want to jump like as late as possible off this guy. So as soon as we get there, you see that up here, and then this guy will stop. You see, there's a, a vine in the background hanging. He stops just before that. So once we're almost at that, then we're gonna go. And you need to jump and then hover really late. Uh, this is one of the, I find this to be one of the harder, like, the second hardest jump in the game. So, that blue flower in the background, jump off right away. Vine, then we go. <clears throat> Alright, so these uh, beetles are going to be spawning randomly, so you have to be aware. They, sometimes they just troll you. Uh, you can do a, a damage boost up onto this guy, but doesn't save much time, and it's pretty risky. So we're just going along, killing enemies as we go. I like to turn around and kill this guy. Like it, it's really important to know, like I said before, uh, oops. Oh, excuse me. Whatever, that's fine. <laughs> Not a big deal. It's important to, to know how to stretch out the, the distance of your hover by hovering, uh, starting to hover later in your jump. Uh, here, if you have enough health, you can just uh, damage boost all the way up. I don't have any more health, so we can't do that. Uh, this section, if you hover, uh, there's wind that pushes you up. So when you're hovering, you can uh, do this. Okay, what I like to do is land right here. And then, from here, you can just do a full jump up, hover, and then get over here, and then we actually want to die right here. That is 100% intentional, because it, one, refills our health, and two, it actually spawns us, uh, spawns us ahead. So you need to die on one of these top two right here. If you die on one of the other ones, it will take you back to the beginning of the stage. But this is a checkpoint here. <clears throat> so yeah. Hopefully we've gotten here and that's our only death we've taken. That's that's great. Uh, here you can. Just, we like to do a damage boost there, though I don't. I think you can just wait like if you really want to. Like if you don't want to take this damage, you can just do this. <clears throat> Same with here. You can just you can just wait. Do that. Uh, shoot this guy. Shoot this guy as you're going up, and then okay, just do a big jump, hover, and then land right here. It's actually pretty easy to land right on the edge of that. Uh, now if you took like a hit or two uh, along there, there's a heart right here you can grab. Refill a little. Oh, I guess it is important to note that if you want to drop straight down, uh, you can just tap down. You don't have to, to jump off or hit A. And then we want to just go down through here, and then there is a, a really precise damage boost you can do to get through these. Uh, not really worth it unless you're like going for the record. <laughs> so yeah, you just take your time and go through those. <clears throat> really want to save your health kind of for this boss. So this is the death balloon. Start off, ideally you kind of want to get two hits on him as you're jumping towards him. And then, get stuck on this wall, and then, see I'm continuing to hold left on this wall as I'm shooting. And you want to get some good, try and get good rhythm. You don't want to just all out mash on this guy. You kind of want to hit as soon as, as soon as you see like the, the previous shot. You see it, he dies pretty fast if you get good rhythm. <clears throat> So I try to get one, two, then up on the wall. And then as soon as you see one shot hit, that's when you shoot the next one. So yeah, if you have uh, four, four health or more, I think you can do this strat. Or it's even, we only take two hits this way. He does, he does a... Uh, 
the bubbles he shoots does one da or do uh, one damage, but uh, body contact with him does two damage. So you have to be aware of that. Uh, this this fight is he can do different stuff. He can actually come straight at you right here, or he can go up. He can go down uh, after his first cycle. But I mean, if you come in here with uh, you can come in here with five health. That's great. Four or five health. That's usually enough to kill him. Uh, but there's no shame in backing off and playing it a little safe to avoid dying. Okay, that's, that stage is... <clears throat> yeah, it's the first, like, really long stage. But it's not... I don't think it's too hard. So we're going all the way to the left here, up into this cave. So this is kind of like a long, like, downtime of, uh, the run. Which is kind of nice. The game has a couple of spots where, uh, there's not much action. It's just, like, walking around and, uh, talking. So it makes, even though the run is, like, 27 minutes, 26 minutes, it actually makes the run feel, uh, shorter. Alright, so we're gonna talk to this lady. And... She powers us up. I forget what she gives us. <clears throat> she tells us to stand here and use the Candle of Darkness. So we go uh, to the middle menu, and then the bottom, the bottom one, that's the Candle of Darkness. So we use that, and she does all her spells. <clears throat> we just tap A through it. And then, it's important, once this is over, you need to talk to her again. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm, I'm always holding away from the character as I'm tapping A. Just so we walk away immediately. <clears throat> and we just go through the, the cave, and we're out. And, so if we ha if we didn't talk to her again, this guy would not let us through. He, uh, makes sure that we're- that our wings are strong enough to make it across the, uh... The hardest jump in the game. <clears throat> so this is- this is the hardest jump in the game here. See, you get pretty close to not making this jump. Uh, I actually, th I think I found a setup that's it's a little bit slower, but that seemed to be pretty consistent. So if you uh, if you walk off here and hold left as soon as you walk off, you get stuck on this. Uh, you get stuck on the wall. Uh, if you do that, you do a full jump, and then like right around there, you start to float. So there's a there's a, a mountain in the background to the mountain in the background. So like right around, like right where actually where I'm standing, like that amount of height. So you do it like right there. You can just do it and hold right, and it works. I found I just found that earlier today. It seems to be super consistent as long as you do it right right around. Uh, as soon as you get below that, the bottom of that mountain, pretty much works. <laughs> and then we're just going through the stage. There's nothing else in this stage, really. These platforms will fall. Pretty much just, you just jump right as soon as you get on them. You can go this bottom route or the top, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but yeah, that is one of the hardest jumps in the game. I think it is the hardest jump. Like if you don't if you don't do that edge strat that I found, uh, you really have to like float, drop, float, drop, float, drop, float, drop, like that to extend the the distance you make you're going. Yeah, the lava is insta kill unless you have iframes, but it is insta kill. And then we're changing. Uh, we got this new weapon. Just I forget what it's called, like a fingernail or something. But we're changing. We want to change to that at the end of the screen. <clears throat> we need it for this the sand castle. All right, so this is the next stage. The sand castle. This is a very. Uh, this is a very fun stage. We're just gonna drop down. There's a couple of cues in the background you can use to drop down. I sort of float, and then there's like this blue column in the background. That's where I used to. You can just fall almost straight down. Hover here, go over. Right, 
kill these bats. And then, this is current pushing against you, so... But if you're in the air, it does not affect you. So you want to be, like, in the air through this. And then this is a... a this genie in this bottle will, uh, randomly appear. He either shows up or he doesn't. If he shows up, you need to stop and kill him, because he does... He does two damage. Just fall in. Grab the wall here. Go up. Uh, the fast strat for this part is to hover as close to the top of this pillar right here as you can. Like that. And then you can grab this. Shoot, and then you go up. Otherwise, you can just do, uh... You can just do this. But you see that is slower. <clears throat> right, we go up here. I go the this bottom route. Not... Not much of a difference. You can go up top here and then down. And you're just gonna be aware of these fish right here. They can do like four different patterns. That's the high pattern. There's one, you can do a, a low pattern on the bottom left or right, or the high pattern like that. The high pattern will hit you, so you have to be be like ready to turn back if you see it. And then we're just going through. And we're already at the end of the stage. And no genie spawn for this one. So, we got lucky there. <clears throat> it's a pretty straightforward stage. Just gotta remember where to go. It can be a little confusing. This bat. Have to jump to kill that bat. And float. Oh, no genie spawn this time. <laughs> I don't know what triggers. Or causes them to do that. Uh, you cannot grab onto the side of those blocks, the, the one I just shot. That's why you have to destroy it. But... Oh, no fish spawn. Spawn really late. And we just go down, going down and right, down and right. PB attempt, I would I would damage boost off that bat to avoid waiting. Level no genius. All right, so this is uh this is the sand the sand froge. <clears throat> this boss can be uh, kind of annoying. So what you want to do right away is you want to hover as soon as you get into this room and grab onto this, and then you're just getting shots as he's coming over to you. All right, he will shoot out these like spores. The annoying thing is that he cannot be hit while he's doing that. You want this jump, this jump right here. Because he is vulnerable from doing the whole thing. Uh, you want to lure this spores up like that. Uh, because you see if they grab you like this. If they grab you, you actually... You see, I can't even jump. You can't jump more than like a pixel off the ground. <clears throat> so, yeah, with that start... Float right away, grab onto that, jump up, and then we're, we're trying to do damage as we're getting away from him. We're hoping for this pattern. All jumps is, like, ridiculous. He should have been dead, but I missed a lot of hits. <clears throat> but yeah, not, not uh, too tough of a boss. Yeah, you just immediately grab on here, go up. And then you shoot as you're walking away. Or floating away. And that's that stage. So now we need to make it all the way back to uh, a king of an earlier town. Uh, but that's like, it's like really long to get back there. So what we're gonna do is... Oh no! We're gonna fall in the lava here. <clears throat> and remember that checkpoint we grabbed earlier? We we're gonna game over and it'll take us back to that checkpoint gonna take us a uh, it's gonna cut a, a lot of backtracking and remember that king we need to see oh he's already in this town so that's perfect <laughs> so this king uh, he will not respond if you talk to him you need to go to the second menu and then go to our new item we got we just got which is called the gremlin stick and we use that on the king to like wake him up and then we're just, same thing, just tapping A and holding down to walk away from him. 
Uh, we just we need to talk to him to advance the story. <clears throat> and we're gonna leave this town and then go to the left. So he unblocked this uh, path up here. Normally, right here, there was a uh, there was something blocking this. So we needed to wake that king up so he could remove it for us. And then this guy, I don't know, he probably checks to make sure you have the correct item. So our new item we just got is the Tornado, which is a really neat item. It lets you place a platform in the air that you can stand on. You can have two of them on screen at once. Uh, one thing you need to, to practice and get, like, get good at is if you do it right before the, the max height of your jump, you see it like snaps you up onto it. Like that, that's pretty important for getting ma maximum height and maximum speed with your, your climbing. So we, we changed to this tornado right away. And we're just climbing up here. I like to use three tornadoes. Fly over these. We're yeah, we're at wing level two. We're good to go. We drop down here. And then I like to do three more tornadoes. I feel like it's less lag if you stay up here. And we're gonna change back to this at the end of this. Because we're about to have a boss fight. <clears throat> This is the imposter king, or the fake king. Uh, he, you talk to him and he's like, "Oh, everything's cool here. Uh, you should just go back, go back home." Uh, so you actually have to say no to this guy. <clears throat> so if you, uh, you don't actually have to pick no. You can just tap B, and it automatically says no. All right. So Spiderweb came up with a really, really cool fight for this that makes it super free. So you want to come up right here, even with that platform right there. We want him... This is just the start. We're just showing how to start it. You want to be like right here, because we need him to go straight left. If he, if he goes straight left, that's, that's perfect. So as soon as we're on the wall, we're going to start shooting him. And we want to jump over him, and then just stay here, and we just shoot, and then... Uh, shoot him. <laughs> Alright, he's dead. <laughs> so this guy takes- he only takes 8 hits, but he does 2 damage if he hits you. So you can only take- with this amount of health, you can take 2 hits, but... And the iframes uh, last long enough that you can- you can just tank him. It's actually a really, really slick fight. It's actually faster than what I do in uh, or what I did in the record. So it's, it's, it's a really, really simple fight. <clears throat> you just go up against the wall. If you get too high, then he, uh, his pattern will go up, up and to the left. And you actually do not want that. But yeah, it's a, it's a really smooth fight like that. <clears throat> That's, with like a, a small amount of practice, it should not be very hard to, to replicate that. Uh, and then I guess for a marathon purpose, it's not it's not that bad the bad of an idea to just grab this checkpoint real, real quick if you're if you're not comfortable with getting through uh, the next spark part without uh, possibly game overing. So from here we go up and right. And this is the next stage. Right away we're gonna change to our tornado. <clears throat> I jump up here like this. Uh, the flames from these things are like uh, proximity activated. I don't know why I did that. It's good movement. You can you can kill the bee and get up. Uh, I'd probably recommend just waiting right there for that flame and leaving that bee alive. If you leave that bee alive, uh, I think another one should not spawn. Climb straight up here. And 
then I go low here, because sometimes that guy does a high jump, uh, the little roly-poly guy. Sometimes he does a low jump. <laughs> and the top route is much better. <laughs> go the top route this way. So this stage is, uh, that's the stage. Change the tornado. Climb up. And you can, like, you can stand on the corner. These are spikes, they will hurt you if you go any more off the corner. But you can just walk on the corner of these and they don't hurt you. It's kind of a, a weird thing. Why am I, why am I doing that? Whatever. You really just want to get through this stage without taking uh, more than a hit or two. This one is the one you wait for and go. <clears throat> you can take a, uh, a boost through that, but then that's gonna that's gonna mean you can only take one hit on the boss. Sometimes that beast spawns. Yeah, the, the movement is very consistent though, so once you uh, get the hang of it, <clears throat> like you're, you'll start moving much better in this game. And so now we're coming up to this is the worst boss in the game. This is this is for PB attempts. This with like the the route where we're burning off all, all our lives as fast as possible. This is like the run killer. So we're gonna change to uh, the boomerang, <clears throat> and this is the the twins fight. So right away you want to jump up and hover, and then we're gonna be trying to sh hit both of them. We're gonna wait for them to get apart or not. We're just gonna do this pattern, huh? We're gonna try and get our distance here. So they, they can give lots of different patterns. Should be almost dead. So like, if you can do a fight like that, that's perfectly fine. But this is uh, this is a, a hugely annoying boss. Because in the, uh, in like the, the risky route, what you do is you come in here and you you immediately uh, burn off our two extra lives. This is the fastest place to do it, is in this fight. So then we're fighting this boss with uh, no lives. Uh, it's very risky, but yeah. Just jump up, try and equalize your shots. Hopefully they split apart. There we go, let me get some more, sh more hits. In the, the, yeah, the good thing about getting that, that extra health in the very first stage is that with five health on, on this boss, we can actually take two hits before dying. Where if you don't get that, you can only take one hit from this boss, and then you're dead. So yeah, right before the boss, make sure we change into our correct weapon. That's very important. You don't want to accidentally come in here and use the uh, tornado. <laughs> Jump hover. Do the wiggle, shoot back and forth. Might not even be a terrible idea to just like focus all your energy on just one. Ooh. And they will, after a certain amount, they always go uh, together like that. That's bad. Oh, I got him anyway. <laughs> so yeah, if you can just find like a consistent way to beat them. Like any way you can beat them without dying is really good. They are they are a huge pain. Alright, then we have another little bit of downtime. We gotta talk to this king. <clears throat> Just talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. <clears throat> it is kinda nice there's like a usually like a, a decent break between stages, especially once we get starting to get into the later game here. We go to that, and then we're back out. We're gonna go straight left, and then up, and we're gonna fight this guy, Scyther. I mean, it's definitely not Scyther. So this boss is like a praying mantis thing. If you try and fight him like straight up like this, like he is... He does a lot of damage. He does two, two per hit, I think. 
uh, but luckily there's a super easy cheese strat here. You just jump up here and then hold left as soon as you walk off, and then this guy cannot hit you. <laughs> so this this is the uh, this is the the, the speedrun strat. Is a super awesome cheese strat. You just immediately jump up and then hold left as soon as you walk off, and that's it. This guy is super annoying if you try and fight him otherwise. <clears throat> and that's that. Like, you practice that a couple times and you have it, it's like, not a big deal. Uh, I switched back to Tornado right away here. And we're, you see we're at wing level 3 now, we can jump even higher. So we're getting more and more uh, powered up. stage is pretty easy. I just fly over the whole thing, pretty much. <clears throat> ah. There is a, uh, I think it's like, I feel like it's like two or three pixels where you can hover straight through this and land straight up here, but it's not a big deal. You just land on the wall and then jump up. <clears throat> To the next, the, uh, the mirror level, the mirror palace, whatever it's called. So I do a uh, tornado right here, and then we jump up and hover, and that'll get us to this wall. So this is a huge maze. Right, we're just gonna go down here. We're going all the way down to this one. So if you don't know where to go, this stage is this stage is really, really confusing and really frustrating, I think. But the route is the same once you know where to go. We're going in this mirror, we're going straight up, up into the left, this one, here, kill that guy with a tornado, we're going to hover down here, uh, the spikes down below are insta, insta kill, we shoot a tornado here up to, to get up, here we climb up, if you're really fast you can get in front of this guy and kill him, oh what, <laughs> I did not mean to hit up there, <laughs> alright we're back in that first room, <laughs> So if you go in the wrong mirror, it will take you, like, back to the start. Or it's not too, too hard to get back. So make sure you're in control of your up button press. You can actually shoot one early here, like this. Alright, we're back. Otherwise, you can just wait here. Okay, let me get rid of lag. This is one of my favorite stages, though. The, uh, the the vertical climbing sections are really, really fun. So we're going in here. I like to put one there to make this uh, easier to get across the spikes. And we're going to the, the right and then up. From here, I do one, two. Spikes, please. Into here. We go down, and then we go to the second mirror we can enter, which is this one, and then if we're here, then that means we're in the right spot. We're almost at the end of the stage. You can actually, with a pixel perfect uh, hover, you can actually squeeze through these without taking damage, but it's, it is not worth it for a, like a marathon. Uh, here we're going just up, and then we're already in the boss. This is the boss. <clears throat> Yeah, that stage is pretty straightforward. I don't want to start it yet. <clears throat> so this is uh, the doppelganger fight. So you'll see our doppelganger is here. As soon as you move, he will activate. And you see he transforms into this wizard. Who will uh, swoop at you. Uh, if you keep your distance, you can actually you can manipulate where he uh, swoops. So like, I know he's going to go up there because I stayed up for so long. So I like to sort of hover like here, and then drop, hover here, drop. The timing is the same every time, you just have to get used to it. It's super important to be able to dodge this guy, because he will hit you a lot. So if you can just go around without getting hit like this, like, 
That's a really good way of learning his pattern for the timing. got me with a lemon. And, uh, so when he's in the doppelganger form, which is the form that looks exactly like you, this form, if you actually shoot him like this, it, uh, it, uh, it does damage to you instead of him. So, make sure when he's about to change, you stop, sh stop shooting him. Get, like, if you're getting lots of hits on him, he dies really, really fast. <clears throat> but with, like, if you have full health, which you, sh you should be able to make it through there. I took, whoa, some, where did I get hit? I took some silly hit. But if, you, if you're here with, like, five health, you should be able to kill him pretty easily. So I, ho I hover up here and drop. He does follow if you're if you're too low he goes down if you're if you're high then he goes he'll go up <clears throat> you just need to, to get used to the timing it's all about understanding like the exact amount of time when he's gonna swoop once you get uh, that down he's pretty straightforward but he can be pretty annoying if you don't understand that you can manipulate him up and down so yeah that's that guy <clears throat> let me get this king which I swear looks like never off Super GNG. Then we have the uh, exposition here, which you can't do anything to speed this up. The game doesn't even read your inputs here. <clears throat> Once again, I'm holding down the whole time just so we can walk away. One really important thing that we need to do right here. You do not want to do not forget this. <laughs> Put it in your splits if you have to. As we're leaving this, we need to talk to this guy. <clears throat> Make sure you talk to this guy. So this guy is a checkpoint. That's all we need to do. We just need to talk to him and say yes. <clears throat> if you do not do that, it's gonna be bad, because it's gonna take us to a checkpoint way far back in the game. <clears throat> so make sure you talk to that guy. <laughs> Alright, from there, uh, we're going down to the third cave on the left. So we have one, one cave, two cave, three cave. Uh, all the other caves here, there's like five or six. Uh, if you beat them, they take you back to the start of the cave area, I think. This is the only one that will take us where we want to go. So this one looks kind of like the, the sandcastle level. So you just fall straight down here, and then I like to latch on right there. That makes this section super free to get across. <clears throat> so we go, fall right here, hover there, and then just tap down to drop off the wall, and then makes it so you, you make it every time. It's really easy. Because it makes because you start hovering so late. And then, I change the tornado, you change to it anytime after killing that bat or whatever. And we're just climbing straight up. This stage is really short. We're already at the end of this stage. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then, we have another really long section of talking. We talk to, uh, this, you can go either, either left or right side first, doesn't matter. <clears throat> so you just talk, tap A, hold down, and like I said, I hold down the entire time just so I don't even have to think about walking away, or accidentally talking to the, uh, the boss like a second, or the, the king the second time. <clears throat> and 
And they're, they're powering us up even more. That's uh, pretty much the whole reason. Or we have to get their blessing or something, I forget what it is. And then we can just leave the town by going through the top. Alright, so remember when we got that checkpoint? When I said, hey, get this checkpoint. Don't forget it. Uh, we're actually gonna... Burn off all, burn off our lives here, and it's gonna take us back to that checkpoint. <clears throat> so ideally, like I said, in the risky, the risky route, like if you were going for the record, we would have already burned off two of our lives in the the twins fight. So then you only have to do one, uh, one death here. But this is uh, this is still faster than leaving normally, even with having to burn off three lives. Tap A, and hey, we're already back to the king we need to talk to. We talk to him again. <clears throat> he uh, gives us something. I don't remember. I play. I've played through the. I played through the uh, U.S. version like one time. <laughs> I don't remember all the lore, but I think he gives us another spell so we can continue. And now we go over to this. We normally could not get past this. We go second menu, and then the final option. That will get rid of this. <clears throat> and we're already to the, this is the second to last stage. So our, our new weapon is the bubble, which uh, if you shoot this at a, a vertical wall that has spikes on it, uh, it will actually put a platform on it for you to land on. So you can safely land on a vertical wall of spikes. Alright, so here I just walk off, hover, land, walk off, hover, land. <clears throat> then we're gonna go down and left here. Shoot this guy. They take two hits to kill. We're gonna go across. And then we're going down and to the left here. Oh! If, so if you kill you can kill this guy perfectly like that, he will not shoot a shot at you. But Normally, what happens is that he shoots a uh, like a triple shot like that at you. So then I sort of just turn back and then I'm gonna kill him anyway. Drop, kill that guy. And then we're just dropping. This is just this stage is mostly just remembering where where to go. So here, you see, we gotta make this platform and we can jump up here. Uh, I change to tor tornado right here. I do one and then like a short one. Jump up here. Jump up here. So there's a, a ghost that's following us. Uh, it's kind of like a boo. Uh, he has a lantern. He's lighting the whole area. If you kill him, it will go completely dark. So we actually want to keep him alive behind us. So if we do that part uh, quickly enough... Then uh, he will stay alive and keep lighting the, uh, the way for us. And then that final part, you can do one bubble, and then uh, go up to, or go to Tornado, and then get up. Ah, so yeah, so if you shoot him, it goes completely dark. <laughs> but we are going to change back to our bubble for the boss. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's, that stage is pretty straightforward. Nothing super tricky about it. And then we have the boss. So the strat for the boss is hold right. Jump up here, start shooting him. As long as you have full health or close to full health, I just take that hit right there. Oh, that was not cool. <laughs> I was a little bit too far forward on the block. But like the, the strat is really easy. <clears throat> so we'll just. Oh, I did not make a save. Oops. Oh, this is so far back. That was a... Uh, uh, okay, I'm not gonna go through all that again. I have other saves. <laughs> <clears throat> Oopsies, I forgot to save. That's my fault. Which one is it? I think it might be this one. <clears throat> Nope. That's the next stage. <clears throat> Still playing 
this one then. All right, we're back. Oh, nope, we're not back. <laughs> Which one is it? There we go. <clears throat> All right, so we changed the bubble right away. Walk, float. <clears throat> Walk, float. Down to the left. Two shots to kill this guy. <clears throat> the trickiest part is probably like the very middle part of the stage. At least I got him again. I always struggled with that uh, during runs. Killing that guy without him shooting. And if you're not comfortable with this jump, you can just do another one like that. Then we change to our tornado. <clears throat> Kind of like a full height tornado, then a little one. And then make sure you land on this and then jump. Make sure you land and then jump. And then we change to fingernail so we can get through this ball. And we're going. Keeping him behind us. Change it to our bubble. And you can just do whatever to get up here. As long as you have uh, three health or more, then you are you are good for the boss to do the, the strat that I'm gonna show. And make sure you wanna change to your bubble before we go in this door. So you don't really wanna be changing it in uh, <clears throat> changing it like in the actual boss fight. So yeah, the strat is you just hold right and then jump up onto the, the single block, but you wanna stay on the, the left side of the block. If you stay on the right, uh, you have a chance to get hit. So we just jump up here, and just stay up here. And you, you, you need to get a good rhythm, like as soon as one is about to hit, so you just do that. He's, he's super easy. <laughs> like, it's it's a joke, like, uh, the, like the, a lot of the earlier bosses in the game are uh, harder. I know the save state is wrong. So you get a good rhythm going. And then if you have enough health, you can take that hit. You need to have at least three health, because the that thing does two damage. He's, he's very, very easy. <laughs> uh, if you do not have the health or you don't feel comfortable taking that boost, I think you can do, uh, when this shot comes, you can just go up like this. And you can do that twice if you have to. <clears throat> but he's pretty easy. <clears throat> you just stay on the left side of that block. And as long as you just go up there immediately, he won't uh, destroy that block. <clears throat> so that was the yeah the second to last stage. We're already at the final stage. Yeah, it's just important to get up to that, that single platform quickly and stay on the left side of it. Okay, we're under the final stage, which is, uh, I think the final stage is my favorite stage. It's a really fun stage. We just have lots of text, and then we just walk down, and we're already in the final stage. So we're already at the end of the game. I'm gonna go to my other saves. <clears throat> Alright, so now we have, uh, we're in the final stage, we have wing level 5, and we have the maximum jump height. Uh, wing level 5 means you can just float as long as you want. It will, not, it will never run out. We can hover uh, as long as we want. So I go here, I just walk off, float, walk. I turn around and we, I boost through this. Uh, it's the fastest way, and we're going to get our health back in a little bit, so it's not a huge deal. Change to uh, fingernail. Break the blocks. I go over the top here. Over the top. Right here, change to tornado. And then, uh, we're actually gonna do a damage boost here. So that we can walk on these, uh, 
This is a uh, insta kill right here. So we need to. The the fastest way to do this is to take this damage boost. Do that and then just climb up here like this. I'm not even sure what the the intended. I guess the intended strategy is you're supposed to shoot a bubble here, and then you can go up. <clears throat> but this this is like it's really easy, really easy to do this. You just jump and then turn around right before you get hit, and then you place one. I like a low platform here. If you place a uh, if you place a higher platform, this guy's gonna shoot an arrow and it's kind of gonna be in your way immediately. And then we just climb up the left side here, and then I actually do another damage boost here. That is not necessary at all. Uh, you land there. And there's a full health refill here. Is uh, very very important. You need to get that. <clears throat> and then if you stay, and... just to show that again. Back boost, low platform. Then we climb. I do another back boost here. It saves a very small amount of time. Land on the corner. Jump. And then, if you float up really high here, I just messed my timing all the way up. There we go. If you float up here, it'll despawn all the low arrows from this spot. And then, you want to jump here, and then right after you see him shoot, that's when we go up. He, he reacts to when you jump. It's, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So you have to be uh, a bit careful on this climb. So you just get in a rhythm of land, oops, land, hey, how about you jump, go, land. Yeah, I don't know, they just, sometimes they get out of whack. <clears throat> land, go, land, and as soon as he shoots, then you go. <clears throat> Alright, it takes a little bit of practice to get used to that. And then here I go, I go under here, land, then go up, shoot this guy. And then this is the, the very final part of the climb here. Change to our tornado so we can climb vertically. Same thing with these guys. Change to this to get through the wall. And then we're already at the final boss. <clears throat> so let's just show the uh, whole stage again. Walk off, float, walk off, float, turn around, get hit, so that we can jump up here. Because those spikes were insta kill. Go up top. <clears throat> top. Change to our tornado. So we're gonna need to climb. Back boost. Low tornado. Up, up. Back boost again. You don't have to do that back boost. You can just wait for the arrows. It's not a big deal. And then float up high up here. Otherwise, there's arrows that I get shot from the bottom as well. Grab, go. Grab, go. It's very consistent once you once you get it down. Here we go. Under and up. Yeah, these guys shoot a projectile once they get killed, so I have to be aware of that. <clears throat> Tornado time. Up. I just like to go that path. It seems the easiest. And then change to the ultimate weapon <clears throat> for the final boss. And the final boss also has a uh, really awesome cheese strat. So you just fly up, you get stuck on the top here like this, take a hit, and then you get to fly up and over. And that's the strat. And then you just mash. 
<laughs> and that is the that is the spider web uh, the spider web kill. It's awesome. It's so good. <laughs> You just gotta make a, or make sure you you don't bonk on this right here. Cause even though the corner of this won't hit you, uh, it'll throw you off. Uh, you might be too low. You just make sure you jump out, and then you just need to land with like one foot above. Then you get hit, and then you go up, over, down, and then you just mash. It's not it's not a full speed mash. It's kind of a rhythm. Even if you get hit, it's not a huge deal. <clears throat> Uh, the important part, the like one of the important things is you do not want to shoot, try and shoot early. If you destroy one of these uh, red guys, another one will respawn right away, and that throws off everything. Uh, I have less health here than you would if you uh, grab the extra health at the start. So you, you don't hit anything, and it puts you up there automatically. Go over, and then down. And if you have a good rhythm, uh, these shots will never... <laughs> Those shots will never hit you. <clears throat> I think there is, like... You can do, like, a kind of a, a cheese strat. Where you just, like, stay back here. Oh. There's, like, a really slow cheese strat. Where you can shoot from, like, back here. And do this. But that's this strat is not hard. <laughs> the uh, spider web uh, kill is not hard. This is also really slow. This is, this is safe, but it's really slow. Yeah, that's the final boss. And then there's just a bunch of text after, and uh, that's the end. So yeah, I guess we'll just do a uh, full run through now. <clears throat> and then that will be it for me. Yeah, if anyone has any more specific questions, I can actually reach out now. So, <laughs> so I think time starts right here. It's always weird going from the, the end game back to uh, being super powered down. <clears throat> A and I'm holding down the whole time. Just makes it so we don't accidentally talk to him twice. <clears throat> We're off to the training. The training ground. Once you get the yeah, once you get the feel, it takes it does take a while to get used to the controls of this. But once you get the feel of it, it feels really uh Feels really good to, to move around. <clears throat> go, go, go. And then we're off to the first stage. <clears throat> we're gonna, if these ghouls pop up, like right in front of us, that was too slow, we just gotta go. We'll try and kill them to get rid of lag, but we're not gonna wait for them. We're just gonna go. I wait for that guy and then go. Unless they're gonna be like immediately, like, it's gonna be hard to jump over them. I just go past those ghouls <clears throat> and shoot them on the way back. Right. These, uh, these one eyed bird things, uh, sometimes they have like fast takeoff patterns and slow takeoff patterns. bit of lag in this game, so you want to uh, kill enemies like as soon as they appear. So we're going to go for the, the safe strat of grabbing this extra health. It's just going to make the uh, some of the later bosses like much safer. Oh, really? Oh. 
I don't know, normally go this way, so we'll just we'll just blame that. <laughs> but if you want to be risky, you can try and do the uh, spike boost over the top. But I feel like it's probably not worth it for a race. Oh, hey, you gave us the god pattern. What a guy. Should be about dead. Yeah. <clears throat> a really good uh, fight. Oh. I'm up there. So we go up and talk to the king. <clears throat> And that's gonna let us uh, leave the, uh, the initial town here. <clears throat> we go down to the left, that's how we get out. And we're holding right. Up. We're going to the first bridge. We have the mini uh, three ghoul fight here. No matter what your health is, we're gonna get it right back. <clears throat> we're gonna do the uh, spiderweb swag boost here. It just makes it so easy to make that, you don't even have to think. <clears throat> here to grab our uh, checkpoint for later when we're gonna game over eventually. Uh, I don't know where the extra health in the desert is, <laughs> so I don't know. <clears throat> I think with just grabbing that health in the first stage, it shouldn't be have too much trouble, I don't think. This game does take a bit of practice, though, to get to get uh, pretty good at. We have the platform bridge. I like to wait till we get to the end of that mountain, then go. This one, wait till we get to that mountain, then go. That one, we pretty much go right away. We got good patterns. Easy peasy. <clears throat> We're going up and to the right right here. Yeah, remembering where to go in between the, the stages also takes a little bit of time to get used to. So we jump in. You know, the second flower is where the platform turns back. Go. Wait for the vine, then go. Jump, float late. Make sure you float late or you're not gonna make that jump. It is, like I said, like I think it's the second hardest jump in the game. And we're just gonna play this safe. We don't need to save those like three seconds. I feel like this this game is pretty fun to practice though. The the movement is just feels so good once you get the hang of it. We're going around and down here. You actually can make this without having to land back on that, but it's very rarely happens. We have like so much freaking health. <laughs> you take all the damage boosts. to this. <clears throat> we're gonna respawn up here and we're gonna get our, all our health back. And we can do the, the safe strat here of doing that. Good, good safe strat. 
<clears throat> Not a big deal, like, because there's a there is a heart coming up that we can pick up. I want to be safe, we can just do that. Yeah, if you want to see, like, any of, like, the, the faster or riskier strats, like, I would just check out my PB. Not a huge deal, but I have to just go grab that. I went for it. There's a frame per, uh, I think it's actually two frames. Back boost you can do through those. It's, uh, pretty tight, though. Get a good rhythm here. Keep holding left so that we just stay on the wall. And he dies, he dies very, very fast. Make sure you don't die after killing the boss, also. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> So now we're going uh, all the way to the left here. Keep going left. Then we get into this area and then we go up. <clears throat> this is the, uh, what do I call it? Call it the Pokemon Cave. It just looks like the caves in Pokemon. <laughs> and we're going to talk to uh, the lady. So we talk to her, and then let's. We'll does that transition and we're done talking to her. We use the candle of darkness, which is that. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna hold up here because we want to talk to her again. And make sure we talk to her again. That was important. After the second time then we can just hold down and leave. <clears throat> Gotta know the, the path out of here. Pretty easy. Okay, this guy he will not let us pass if we don't have the. Uh, if we're not uh, strong enough. So, we gotta make sure we're strong enough. And then we're gonna do our new. We wanna do our new safe strat. <clears throat> Look at it! It works! You can do a back boost off that. It's a little faster. New safe strat to get across that gap is seems pretty good. And we're gonna change. Make sure we change to our our, our weapon here, because <clears throat> we're gonna need that to, to break blocks in this stage. So here we're gonna we're gonna line up with the second blue pillar in the background right here. It's an easy way to fall straight down. stage. The music is so good and the stage is really fun. No genie, we got lucky. <clears throat> Land on the wall, jump up, and slide under that guy. Or you can wait. I mean, you can wait if you, if you don't feel comfortable. Oh! See, that, that was the low fish. You can do a high power and that would have hit me there. Fast strat is to take a boost like that, but I do not recommend that. I recommend keeping your health for the boss. All right, hover right away, grab the wall, then go up. Hope he does this jumping pattern. If he would have jumped again, I think I could have got the quick kill. Oh, he jumped again though. When he does this like wiggling, you cannot damage him. I think that jump on the, the impossible, like the, the hardest jump on this the start of this screen is, yeah. I think with that new strat, it should be pretty consistent. And now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna game over, because we need to get back to the, the town that we took that checkpoint in to talk to the king anyway, so it's like a, a twofer. We warp all the way back, and this is where we need to be anyway. 
and then we're gonna use the gremlin stick on him to wake him up. <clears throat> yeah, that song is uh, that song is so good. All the music in this game is is really good. Nothing is like you I wouldn't call anything like a banger or anything. <clears throat> the kids, I think the kids call it that. But like every song, I feel like fits the. Uh, the stage it's on, like, perfectly. So now we're going straight left. This platform is gone. <clears throat> or the, uh, there was a, a thing blocking our way. So we're going up here. Now we can go up here. Immediately change to our tornado here. Change to our tornado. And we're gonna climb up and over. Oh, I did not mean to use two tornadoes there. <laughs> not a big deal. It might seem like there's like this game is a lot, and it is. It is kind of a lot to learn, but there's a lot of like, the, like the everything in between the stages, like this overworld stuff, is not much to remember. Oops, I forgot to change my weapon. It's not a big deal. I wanted to change to uh, back to my weapon real quick at the end of that. But yeah, there's so much downtime. Like we're smashing B here. Change my weapon right away. Because I screwed up. We can line up right here, jump over him, land, and then just shoot. Easy, easy. <laughs> Jaunty tunes. No. Wrong, wrong Capcom game. <clears throat> and then, just for safety, we can grab this checkpoint. Just in case we have. Something, some bad stuff happened and we game over on accident. Then we won't have to go back over a bunch of stuff. We'll just uh, come back here. And we're going up and to the right. The skull, skull level. I just, I just walk, we just walk off these normally. <clears throat> Here and wait for that flame. It's probably a good idea. Hardly any slower, and we'll hopefully have uh, our five health on the boss, which means we can take two hits. Like I said before, this is. I go low there. That guy can do a really short pattern, and staying low will uh, allow him to still jump over you, even if you uh, he gives you that pattern. off and float <clears throat> and change to our weapon make sure we change to our weapon for this boss right, float wiggle wiggle and shoot and hit me right away that's not good oh and he's doing this right don't do it okay we got him <laughs> sketchy <clears throat> Yeah, that's a scary fight, but you just you just need to survive that fight. Yeah, if it's a slow fight, that's it's unfortunate, but dying is much slower <laughs> because then there's a chance they kill you again. But it's uh, yeah, that's the worst fight in the game. Going for uh, PVs, it's just a huge, huge run ender. But like going for early PVs, you don't have to even go for the the double uh, the double intentional death on that boss. All right, now we're up here to Scyther. We know our Scyther cheese strat. We just jump on this platform and then walk off and hold left, and then we just shoot. That's it. <laughs> it is the freest boss. <clears throat> like if you don't get this, if you. Uh, Screw that up, you're probably gonna die, but it's easy. Like, you're, you're not gonna screw it up. <laughs> <clears throat> Just make sure you uh, 
make sure you've actually started walking off. Make sure you're off the edge before you start holding left. That's about the only thing. This is another, like, super easy stage. I just go along the top. Drop down with those double mountains, upside down mountains in the background. Oh, that's, that's like one pixel too low. <clears throat> and we're into the, the Mirror Palace. I really, I really like this song too. It just sounds like the type of music that should be in a palace full of mirrors. I don't know. <laughs> Right, then we're going up. You try and knock the the crystal guys over, to reduce lag, but it doesn't make much of a difference. Okay, I, the the vertical movement in this stage is my favorite. I feel like with uh, a bit of practice, it shouldn't be too hard to get under 30 minutes in this game. We fall, we go one mirror, two mirrors, there we go. <clears throat> Whatever. I'm dumb, I don't know why I'm- I don't know why I'm doing it! <laughs> why am I going for it? Alright, well, we'll see if we can survive this boss now. Should be very close to being dead. Oh, I almost hit myself. Die. I knew he was, I knew he was close. <laughs> Once you get that guy's pattern down, he's he's not uh, not much trouble. <clears throat> I mean, it's not even if you do die there, it's not a huge deal because we're gonna game over again anyway. That's just one. It would be one less life we have to burn. <clears throat> it's not a not the end of the world if you if you die. In a in like a PB PB run. All right, don't forget, don't forget to talk to this guy. Because you don't want to game over and get taken to the checkpoint that's super 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 far back. <clears throat> Fall, hover, touch that wall to to get our wing back, and then makes that part super free. Change the tornado for this climb. <clears throat> easy. Really easy stage. Oh. <laughs> Hold down. <laughs> Let's go to the left first this time. D it doesn't matter which side you go to first. Yeah, if you plan on game over warping, then yes, you need to talk to talk to that guy. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're gonna go all the way, all the way back. <laughs> <clears throat> like if you use the first game over warp and didn't talk to another one, uh, it would take us all the way back to that. So like super far back, and we and there's no way to quickly get back. You have to go through everything again, pretty much. Not everything. Like, you don't have to go through certain castles, but you have to go through the whole route to go back. <clears throat> and now, it is faster to just game over here, so 
we're gonna do that. Drop straight down. Under the insta spikes. <clears throat> See that, uh, the doppelganger boss, the one that is the wizard and changes into you also, in like, uh, a PB run, or PB, like, attempt, that would be like the sigh of relief, getting past that boss, because since we're at, you're at zero life for, uh, or zero lives for most of the run, when you're going for, like, uh, a really good time. Once you get past that boss, you're, you're like, oh nice, we're gonna we're gonna make it to uh, to the game over like, when when we're supposed to. Cause any death, any death is the the run over at that point. Choose the last option there. <clears throat> then we're on to our second to last stage. Immediately change to our bubble. We do our walk off, hover. Walk off, hover. Super easy. Don't even have to think. <clears throat> Land, turn the corner, shoot twice to kill this guy, hopefully. He will lunge at you if you don't kill him uh, pretty quickly. And we're just going down and left, down and left. Oh, he did it. be a little too low, so I'm just going to do a safety one. Tornado! Full jump, tornado, and then a small one. And then we're going to land. Land! Make sure you land, then jump. Tornado, one more tornado, and then we're back to the uh, fingernail. Yeah, he's in front of us this time. Doesn't matter. He get, still gets behind you as long as you don't slow down. This. And we can do the... I'm going to show the spider web strat. Spider web strat. It's it's so tight. <laughs> it's not really uh probably not worth it, but <laughs> I like it. And we sw switch to the bubble before the boss. <clears throat> and then this boss. So we're holding right immediately and we're jumping up to the left side of this. Then we're just getting a good rhythm here. As soon as you see this pop out, we take the hit back to the left side. Get our rhythm back. And you you just melt him. He dies so fast. <laughs> yeah, that boss is... I think that boss's name is Goza. He dies really easy. <clears throat> we have a last little bit of text here, and we're already at the final stage. Coming up to my PB, my PB is, uh, 25.56, so we're about to get past. <laughs> and we're already in the final stage, which is my, which is my favorite stage, I think. It's just, the movement is so fun. Back boost, so we can get on the spikes and get up. Don't get up there. Change to, uh, this so we get through. Back boost, uh, a low tornado here, and then we're just jumping straight up. Back boost again. We're gonna land on the edge of the spikes, and jump up immediately, and then hover near the top. That's gonna avoid any extra arrows from firing at us. Land jump, up. Land jump, up. Oh, and I was a little high. And I'm still... Wow. Well, <laughs> that was unfortunate. That was a decent run until that. <clears throat> I was just a, a, a tiny bit too high. Yeah, that just shows that's a, a spot that uh, you need to practice. It's easy to get caught up uh, in between them. <clears throat> 
tornado. Back boost. Oh, I actually need to stop taking damage. <laughs> I forgot the uh, the health goes away if you die. So. Forgot about that. that is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really not that hard. I just uh, got stuck in a bad spot. There is a crazy strat you can do here uh, that I came up with that saves like one or two seconds or it kills your run. Sure, we change to the uh, the ultimate weapon, and we're gonna do our uh, our cheese strat. We're gonna get on the top part of the platform, and then we're not gonna touch anything. Don't touch anything until we land, then jump up and around. And just try and get a good uh, rhythm. It's not a super super fast match. Hey, we still got him. <laughs> See, this is still easily gonna be sub 30, even with that. That was at least like a minute death, I think. <clears throat> and I mean, the, the the run is over at this point. The timing does not stop until we get through the last text box, though. So. Oh, go up. Sub 30, even with uh, taking some safe strats, uh, which include the slower death abuses and that huge death at the end. <clears throat> Still, I think with a bit of practice, it's not going to be hard for people to get sub 30. Like I said, you, we're using the Japanese. I recommend using the Japanese version, which is called Red Red Armor 2. Uh, because it is minutes faster with just text. You saw how much text there is throughout the whole run. Uh, and you save quite a bit on uh, on all of the text. <clears throat> but yeah, that is that's pretty much it for uh, Argos Quest 2. There's nothing like super uh, tricky about it. Like I think you can pick up a lot just from watching a, a run. But yeah. Good luck learning it, and same thing, if anyone has any specific trouble spots or <clears throat> questions about parts, feel free to stop by anytime I'm streaming and uh, ask questions. <clears throat> but yeah, I think that is going to be it for me, whenever an uh, enemy wants to cut me off. <clears throat> Coming up next, I think uh, Yelzrake is going to be doing some really cool stuff with Marble Madness, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> but yeah, that is it for me. 